Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So if you've been keeping up with our poster series, we've been spending a lot of time working on destroying our city. We've been using Photoshop to erase elements, replace elements from other pictures, and generally just having Godzilla destroy it for us. And we're going to continue that by ripping up our city, well, even more. And we're going to put a hole in this building right here, and I'm going to show you what it is basically going to look like. And there you go. That's generally what it's going to look like. So to start, we need to find an image of a building ripped through. Now you could just straight up rip a building apart with multiple elements, but I found this image right here and I really like it. So the first thing we're going to do is isolate the hole in this image. And we're going to use that with the lasso tool. You could use all kinds of tools. You could use the eraser tool and all kinds of other things, but I'm going to stick with the lasso. So just bear with me while I go all around the different elements of this hole. Okay, so as you can see, I took a lot of time to get around the details of this hole. It'll make all the difference when it comes to putting it into the final image. So, now that it is selected, I'm going to right click and... I could do layer via copy or cut, but it's really not that important here. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to hold the Command and Control and press X, and there we go. So, now I'm ready to move this image over. So I'm just going to isolate a couple of elements on the image and I'm going to use that with the marquee tool. Just so I don't have these corner elements when I'm working with my image. And now we're going to right click and say layer via copy. Make sure that my top layer is selected. Zoom out a little bit. Make sure the move tool is selected and move it over to our cityscape and put it right there. So that's generally where it's gonna go. Now one thing you'll notice is that the angle is off. So I'm going to correct this. First thing I'm going to do is go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. That helps a little bit with the angle of this building compared to the angle of the building I'm going to put the hole in. And now what I want to do is just generally make a hole in our building. So we're going to make the make it much larger, it's say 50 pixels, change the brush to something a little bit more destructive-ish, and we'll get started. Now you'll notice that as I'm erasing there's another layer behind here that I need to get rid of, and that's fine. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be putting our building hole layer over that. So we're going to take layer 10 and we're going to drag it under layer 1. I'm going to move it over. And there we go. Press enter. And it's a good start. So next what we're going to do is erase the rest of the image that is obviously covering up what we don't want. So just take your eraser tool, get rid of it, get rid of the other side, but don't get rid of everything because as we make changes to the building, we're going to need the rest of the elements. So you will also notice that there's this big black area that we want to get rid of. We want it to actually be a real hole so we can actually see the checkerboard behind the image. So we're going to grab the magic wand tool, make sure our layer is selected, click that area, and just press X and it's gone except for the other layer which we need to get rid of that is layer 6 so click on layer 6 press the eraser button and make it go away alright so we've got a nice hole that's starting to look pretty realistic so the next thing we want to do is start adding little elements to make it more realistic and we're gonna go through that in the next video